This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Let's sing. Yes, Alex, it's in red, the ramble, that's the show, and it's coming to you from that beautiful city you see beneath us, New York, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, formerly in transit, <laughs> Stephen Pearl. Hi, Stephen. First thing he says to Hi, me is... Hi, good to be here again. Hi, I'm not in transit anymore. He, he, he said, I'm in tra- I was in transit. Where were you in transit from? And I was, you know, all last week working, and then I had to fly back yesterday, and then I had to wait for a lift that never came, and then I got another car. I was it took a long wait. Look, it took a long time to get back, but I got back finally. You, did you walk back from the airport? I, yeah, I walked back from the airport. No, and I, I find some guy just... Uh, some guy just offered to give me a lift home for like thirty bucks, so I oh, said, "Okay, oh, here's thirty oh, okay. bucks." Okay, here's and there, I went home. Yeah, yeah. So, where were you working? I was working in Reno at the Laugh Factory and the Silver Legacy Casino. It was a lot of fun. Really, man. I used to, you know, I used to live in Reno. Oh, you know, the biggest little city in the whole world. Uh, actually, my first professional job. When you say professional, getting paid for it, job was r- really, I mean, regular job every day and so on was at, uh, what was the name of the station? I can't even remember it. It, it was in Reno, Nevada. Uh, Reno, Nevada. Yeah, where, where are you going with your camera? Oh, you want to show us your pussy? He looks like a little, <laughs> he looks like a mountain lion. <laughs> he does, he's a little guy. But... Yeah, he looks like a tiny mountain lion. Mutual of Omaha, oh, Jim's in trouble now. Yeah. <laughs> So Here we see the domesticated how, mountain lion. Reno must have changed quite a bit since I saw it last. Oh, I'll tell you how much has changed. Number one, they 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 found weed on my person at the airport, and they put it back in my bag and sent me on my way. <laughs> since they are it's changing. Yeah, well, you know, the thing is that when I uh, when I worked at my father, used to work there every summer. Well, it was different places. Lake Tahoe, it was uh, Reno, and sometimes it was L.A., but mostly between Reno and Lake Tahoe. And he used to play at a place which is no longer there. They tore it down a few years ago. When they tore it down, I felt something of my childhood was gone. It was the Mapes Hotel, it was called. Uh And it was this very statuesque hotel in the middle of Reno. I think it was the tallest structure in Reno. Oh. And then they, then he started playing at the Riverside Hotel, which I don't know if it's still there or not, but it might be. And, uh, you know, then, uh, of course, up in Tahoe, he played Cal Neva with Frank. What, what, what happened with your audio? Do don't, don't touch anything while we're doing this. Oh, when I get a phone call, I got to tip. I got to decline it. Otherwise, the phone's going to ring and the the picture's going to go off. Oh boy! It's so scam likely calls, like a thousand of them a day, and they all start in the morning. I wonder. I wonder if you can. I don't know. Can we do something about that? Of not answering, you know. Uh, oh well, you know. I'm just yeah, thinking that ring. you know. Uh, yeah. You know how you used to be able to put your 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 phone on mute or something so it wouldn't ring while you were talking to somebody, but. Uh, this is not possible with this sort of thing. Yeah. Well, hopefully by, by next week I may have my computer fixed. And God, we'll I, I hope so. I hope <laughs> so. I'm praying. I, I just have to find a place near me that yeah. will fix it, that will get rid of that password bullshit so I can get right on and then we can be in business. Yeah. Well, what happened, in case people don't know, is he, he has. if I were there, I could have fixed this weeks ago for you. Yeah. You know, all you do, what happened was, he um, uh, uh, forgot your password, right? Or you tried it and it didn't I tried, work. No, I tried I tried. I've only used three in my whole life, and I tried them all. And none of them worked. None of them worked. I think something went screwy in the computer with the... Uh, yeah, with the boy. Internet. Someone but, zip went out, oh, boy. But, you know, there should be a way. There should be a way. Well, you have a PC, right? You have a, yeah. a laptop. i got to turn this air conditioning back. That's a desktop. It's a desktop. It's a desktop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Old so timey. Yeah. It, it, it's amazing they don't have a hey. Here's what you can do if you can't get uh, if you can't get uh, uh, 
uh, yeah, uh, you it's know, crazy. your password, uh, uh, some kind of safety function or whatever. Uh, but I mean, all you got to do if you said there was nothing on there you wanted is no, just sure. you just go in and race the whole drive, and then you race have to the and then reinstall and reinstall the, the operating system and set it up, and you're all good to go. Yeah, some guy said he could do it for fifty bucks. I said that's fine. So I just got to get there. I got to get the machine there and me there. Probably not going to take him that much time. It'll yeah. probably take five seconds for this guy to do it. All you got to, if worse came to worse, what I do is go out and buy you a new hard drive, pull the old one out, put the there new one in, put in the operating system, you'd be good to go. That would have been uh -huh. months ago. Yeah, well, great. I don't even understand what you say. You know, you know what the problem with the computers is today for most people is that we're used to uh, in life being able to flick a switch and the light goes on. Uh -huh. Okay, and or you push a button and the TV set goes on. You turn a couple of knobs and the channels change. Okay, we're used mm -hmm. to that, but now you get to computers and it's not simple. I'm telling no. you it's not simple. I mean, even for me on some things, it's not simple anymore. I want it simple like an extra sketch you know? <laughs> turn it on, turn it off. It, exactly. And and it's people like you who are yelling and screaming for that to happen, you know? What about us simpletons? Yeah, you simpletons. What kind of computer needs? Yes, we do. But anyway, so uh, so Reno, did you do anything in Reno? I mean, did you see anything besides just what were you at? You weren't in. No, I just did the show and went to my room and smoked up and <laughs> waited for the next show the next day. There's really nowhere to go. I took walks in the morning mm -hmm. before it got hot. But this really, you know, what, what now, do I now, do there? Is, is this cl is this club in a casino or in a, a hotel? It's in a hotel or casino. Yeah, which one? You know, the Super Legacy Resort. Uh, okay. See, I don't, I don't know much of that. I, the last time I was there was when I got married 10 years ago. Uh -huh. 10, 10, 11 years ago. Well, let's see here. When I get married, 2011, I think. Yeah, 10 years ago. And and we got married in Lake Tahoe, on the shores of Lake Tahoe. Where it was, And uh -huh. then uh, I think at that time, not at that time, we didn't go to Reno, but we had been to Reno previous to that. And uh -huh. uh, it had changed a lot. Is it is the art still there? Saying the small, biggest little city oh, in the art. world. So, yeah, it's still there. It's still there. I don't know and, if it's a, uh, is it a little city anymore. It, uh, I, well, it looked pretty big for my hotel room. I was on the thirty second floor, and uh, I could see a lot of it. And it seemed to stretch out for a while. Wow, wow. I I guess it isn't the biggest little city in the world. Reno, come grow with us. Yes, right. Exactly. You know. Uh, come 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 here so you can go out to the Mustang Ranch and get laid. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I was there in 1976. Yeah. How does it uh, the Mustang Ranch? Yep. I oh, was there shortly after Oscar Bonavina was shot to death there. Who was Oscar Bonavina? He was a boxer. He was a boxer, and he, I think he, he might have taken on uh, Muhammad Ali and lost or something. But uh, yeah, he, he the Mustang Ranch in 19 the spring of 1976. Somehow an argument broke out, something happened, some guns were drawn, that was the end of Oscar Bonavina. At the Mustang Ranch. At the Mustang Ranch. Boy, that must have ruined orgasms for a lot of people when they heard that gunshot. <laughs> I had a good time. Yeah, some guy might have the, 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 uh, the bragging rights and say, you know what, I was at the Mustang Ranch when that gun went off and I came like a motherfucker. <laughs> bang, bang, <laughs> it came four times. Came every gunshot, it almost killed me. Yeah, now I went there once. Somebody, uh, uh, somebody wanted to go there. I can't remember who. Uh -huh. So we went there, and I'm what? sitting there, and I'm waiting for him. And I'm thinking, you know, I've never done this in my life. You know, I've never paid for sex. Well, I mean, I, kind of I, I, I got married, but that's kind of like paying for that's, sex. Oh, that's paying with your soul. Yeah, but anyway, I, I never paid for sex. I, let me give it a try. I want to see what yeah. it's like because my feeling in life has been I, I talk on the air about my experiences and so uh -huh. on. And if I've never had this experience, how am I going to talk about it? Mm -hmm. So I went and did it. I uh, I can't remember how much. It was very cheap. You know, it was like a hundred bucks or something like that. And I went in and, and it was to me it was the most non-sexual thing I've ever done in my life. 
Oh, yes, put it in, take it out, go home. Yeah, yeah. next, no. next. You know. PPL, pay the lady. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it just never made much right. sense to me. And I had a friend who owned the, um, the Moonlight Bunny Ranch, Dennis Hoff. Uh-huh. And he said, anytime you want to use the services of the women here, I'll pay my share. In other words, he used to, I think he took 50% or something. Hey, not bad. So I would get 50% off, right? <laughs> and I never took him up on the offer, not because I was cheap, but because I just it just never appealed to me. It was, yeah, so I, I did would, it once, and that was it. You know, I would go, go over there with my friend Paul, who was uh, the head of uh, Play Incorporated, and he loved to go there. Uh, I would take him there. He was so happy that I would take him there, uh, and and he would then pay five hundred bucks to go into a room yeah. with a woman, and he'd come out. And after it was all over, I said, well, how was it? He said, oh, we just talked. Oh, my God, yeah. He said, for $500, you just talked? $500, he said, my God. It's not about he, this. He said, it's not about the sex. It's about the power. Yeah. And um, uh, so I, I, but I, you know, Dennis always used to brag that I was the only guy I ever knew that he offered the services of the place, and I never took him up on it. Uh-huh. Yeah. But oh, it's overrated. What do you want? But uh, no, uh, uh, Paul would go in there and do nothing. He would just talk with them. For they would take their clothes dollars, off and he'd talk place. with them. Yeah, and then I I uh, in, I went back there. Oh, you know, I, I used to go see over there all the time to go see Dennis. And one day I'm waiting for him and I'm sitting in the in the waiting room and uh, this woman comes over to me and propositions me and I said, No, I'm not interested. I'm just here to see Dennis. Yeah. And uh, but uh, thank you for asking. And yeah. and she, um, I said to her, I said, I have a friend who comes in here all the time. He pays five hundred dollars just to talk to somebody. That's and she weird. said, Oh, that's not uncommon at all. I'd say she said, at least fifty percent of her clients just want to talk. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Find a bartender that's cheaper, man. Yeah. Because uh, the one time I did that. I just found it so non-sexual. Uh huh. You know, it was ridiculous. So you <laughs> don't, you, you don't you don't go to the casinos or anything when you're at these clubs, right? No, I walk through them, and that's about it. That's I'm too cheap to gamble. I don't drink. I don't whore well, around. Vegas is perfect for me. It's, so it, it's not being cheap. You're there to make money. There, I want to go home with money in my pocket. You want to so go yeah. home with money in your pocket, exactly. exactly. Uh, and plus, you're going back to Las Vegas. You live in Las Vegas. So I live in Las Vegas. Most of the people in Vegas don't, people who live there don't gamble, right? None of my friends do. Yeah. You know, because you know that if you start gambling, I mean, it's all over. You may as well. You're done. It's all over. Yeah. yeah. There goes the life. And, and the wonderful thing about visiting there is you can go there. And I always used to say, okay, I'm going to take $200 and this is going to be my fun money for gambling. Yeah, and then when it was gone, that was it. You know, I'm too. Yeah. See, I'm so cheap. How cheap are you? That uh. in gambling, you have to get as much of a thrill out of losing as winning. You know, that's what these guys are are hooked on. They get the endorphins. Yeah. They get the endorphin rush, and so on. And they get they they're uh, addicted to just winning and losing. Exactly. And losing is just as much of a high for them as winning. Yeah. For yep. me, losing is terrible. Oh, losing is horrible. You know, losing is the worst thing I can do. You know, <laughs> if I win, I'm delighted. You know, but yeah. losing depresses me. To a real exactly. gambler, losing never depresses them. Yeah. You know. And yep. uh, but but so none of your friends gamble at all. None of them. No, my friends all pay their rent and uh, everyone's happy. Yeah. So now you're starting to see work coming back? Uh, yes, yeah, it's coming back. A lot of uh, the Laugh Factory here, I was there two weeks ago before I went to Reno, and we were packing them in every night. It was great. They're at full capacity. Nobody's wearing masks in the audience anymore. And everybody's happy. Are they paying decent money? Um, yeah, bills are getting paid, you know. The yeah, bills are getting paid, but, I mean. Depends what you need, mean by decent money. It's not open mic money. It's, 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 uh, yeah. But it, it's not be Seinfeld money either. So no, no, it's never going to be Seinfeld money. Forget yeah. it. You know. Uh, but it is. It is. Uh, uh, I ain't turning it down. <laughs> right. Right. And the more of yeah. it that happens, the better. Right. Yeah. 
Are exactly. you starting to get any offers from give me, out give me, of Nevada? Give me more, 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 more. Give me, give me, give me. Are you getting any offers from out of Nevada? Uh, no, and I'm glad because I really don't want to travel. <laughs> oh, Reno, Reno was a stretch. Yeah. Well, I'm I, all I'm saying is is that the problem out there is is, and I hate to say this, but at your age, they don't hire comics your age. Actually, out here in Vegas, they, they the, the older ones seem to be working well, because, because they know they're the better ones. Because, well, no, absolutely. Absolutely, but that's been a town that's always embraced old comics, yeah. you know. Yep. Uh, but what but I'm I have, saying, I have is, no desire to travel. I have no desire to leave the state. I have no desire to get on another plane. This flying this time was like I go, whoa, okay, I fly again. Here we go. But uh, this, I really it, don't want to fly any. I don't want to travel anymore. I've been everywhere. Well, I've been so, around the world many times. Well, actually, if your your car wasn't working, right? No, my car's dead. I don't have a car anymore. Your car's dead. Okay, if you had your car, you could have just driven. To oh, yeah, if, I, if my car was working, I would have driven up and driven down. So, you know. So, what? It's three, like 300, 400 miles? How far is it? It's a, a seven-hour drive. I know that. Yeah, okay. It's about it's about 400 miles. Yeah. 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 Um, but you could have driven that. Of course, it's a little boring. I, as well. I was, that would have been great because like, right after uh, the last show, I would have done the last five minutes of my set walking towards the car. And I'm going yeah. home. The funny part about it is that once you leave Las Vegas, the closest real city is, I think, that you would hit on the road is Carson City. Carson City. And Carson yep. City is about an hour out of Reno. Out of Reno. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you get to Reno, there's a cluster of cities there. Sparks and... Yeah, Sparks. You know. That's where the Mustang Ranch is. It, yes, it's in Sparks. <laughs> you know what it is. You know what it is about prostitution there. It's not legal where you are in Vegas. No. Uh, yeah, be outside of Vegas. It's quasi-legal. I mean, there are women working the place. Oh, uh, yeah. You know. But uh, uh, it's a county option, county by county option. So you have yeah. Reno, it's not legal. Go to over to Sparks, it's in another county. Right. The, uh, Reno's in Washoe County, I remember that now. Yep. Washoe County, and you go over to Sparks, it's in another county, which I can't remember the name of. And over there, it's uh, it's completely legal. And so, yep. therefore, you can. it depends on where, where you're going. But I'll, go there. But all I'm saying is, Nevada is so sparse in population. It's oh, these yes. pockets. Eight people here. I know them all. Well, it's the pockets. You know, there's the Reno pocket. There's the Vegas pocket. Sure. Vegas is sure. huge. You know. Yeah. I mean, uh, but then again, you have a huge population that's there because they work there, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the whole gambling industry. Take, this must have been devastating. Sure. The, the closing down of the casinos for a while must have been devastating. For a lot of people oh, working there. Sales went way up. Yes, it's, uh, what? people had something to do for here. But, uh, yeah, it was horrible, but things are starting to open up now, and it's been getting pretty good again, so very happy are about there, that. Are there, do you see a lot of uh, tourists and stuff hitting the town now? Uh, yeah. We, well, in Reno, we had a lot of them. I, I, I'd ask people who's from here, and you hardly get any answers, so everybody was from okay, somewhere else. Okay, so, so that's all coming back now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, people are coming back. Because that's and, a yeah, major so. industry that... that you know that Nevada relies oh, yeah. on uh, sure. for their for their income. They always they always like to act like they were the most honest state around. You know, you, we, can, yeah. we can't have any gangsters here, and we can't do this and that and so on. It's always been corrupt, hasn't it? Sure, <laughs> there's always been bodies in the wall. You know, <laughs> the, the desert's full of holes out there. A lot of holes in the desert. Hey, look, there's uh, there's Marco, there's Norman. There's, uh, but, but you know how they got rid of the mob. In Vegas. Yeah. Now it's Kmart. You know how, how they got rid of it? Uh, they just said, get out, Bob. One guy. Now, one guy. Came in, fixed one, everything. one guy, Howard Hughes. Howard he, Hughes, he, he bought in, everything. He bought everything. Yep. And, you know, it wasn't, wasn't crooked or anything, but he, 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 he first he looked out his window and he saw, I think it was the, uh, the Stardust. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't like that sign. It's just blaring in my window. I can't stand it. Yeah. Buy it. And they bought it so they could turn the lighting off. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. And then he right. said, well, let's buy this and let's buy that. And he bought up almost every major hotel and casino in in uh, in uh, Las yeah. Vegas. Well, and they money on haircuts and manicures. So yeah. And that's that got rid of the got rid of the mob. So the, yeah. there's no mob influence, I don't think, in uh, Las Vegas anymore. 
but it certainly isn't a hundred percent clean either. No, you know. So whatever. I, I just I, do my little comedy show and take yeah. my little check. I, I, I don't want you to tattle on anybody in uh, Nevada because I don't I'm want you. To, I don't want you to get whacked. Don't want you to be a hole in the desert. I don't know. This guy, Mr. Smegmetti, came in. They went into the office. I hear bang, boom, boom. I don't know nothing. You know, shit happens. What do you want? Anyway. Hey, listen. Good talking to you again. Good to see that you're working. Uh, good to see your cat. Show us your cat. Is your cat. I'm healthy. You know, I'm home. I'm not doing anything this week. I'm sleeping all week. Is your cat still there? Well, you got one here. Let's see. Here's one. Asleep. Here's another. Pretty waters. He's asleep, as you can see. Yeah, they all like Nobody. to hang out with you, right? Yeah, they love me. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Okay, we well, it froze up a little bit. Anyway, hey, we'll see you in a couple of weeks, okay? Uh, all right, my friend, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the lovely and attractive Stephen Pearl. Say goodbye, Stephen. Bye. This is Gabnet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Let me turn on my mic here, and then you can hear me. See? Okay. Anyway, hi. How are you? What's happening? It's uh, it's Friday. Uh, I'm I'm tired again. I'm just you know, it's been one of those days. I just uh, nothing happened. I, I'll tell you what what did happen. Okay. And this is uh, as you know, I was very uh, apprehensive about you know what what was called a. Uh, a, a settlement hearing where they're trying to come up with a settlement in this case with me and the apartment house and all of that and of course all I can think of, I always think of the worst case scenario that I'm you know gonna be out on my ear and be begging all of you to sleep on your couch you know but so we had this uh, this uh, this hearing today which was a it was supposed to be they were gonna try another attempt at um, at, at figuring out who does what and how we're going to be and if everything's going to be okay and uh, you know who owes money to who and all of that and uh, they were supposed to hold it and we we're supposed to go down to our lawyer's office our lawyer didn't want to go down to the courthouse he said I don't feel safe going to the courthouse yet I don't think they're doing a good enough job of, of uh, protecting against COVID there and I think we probably should just ask to be piped in by zoom or whatever and uh, so that was all arranged uh and then this morning i wake up at nine o'clock because we got to get there by ten thirty, and i uh, go in and i uh, take a dump and i wash my teeth and i do whatever i do in the morning to wake up and then i go into marjorie who's in the living room and i said why well, hey you didn't uh, you didn't wake me up i asked you to wake me up at nine luckily i'd set my alarm and she said oh didn't you get the message I said, what message? She said, oh, it was called off. Now, you know, this thing has been going on forever, okay? this We're into our eighth year with this thing. And we were off for a whole year because of COVID. And then there was one thing and another that stalled it. I mean, we, we wanted to settle it the day we had a problem. We were the, I think we were the first ones to offer a solution. Uh, and yet this thing just keeps going on and on and on. And now this thing, which I had been very apprehensive about because, you know, who knows what they're going to ask out of us. And, uh, you know, I, I, not happy with the, I, I don't want to get thrown out of this apartment because quite frankly, if you saw everything that was in here, no way we can move. What we can do is just, you know, leave and say, it's all yours, you know. So anyway, uh, she says, didn't you get the message? And I said, no, I didn't get the message. She says, it's been canceled. And I said, canceled? Why? I get this. The landlord's attorney, he's a very nice guy. I like him a lot. We, we, in court, we've had very nice talks with each other. Uh, I, I don't consider them, at least at this point, an adversary. They may be eventually, but they aren't now. And he's a really nice guy. Uh, he came down with COVID. Uh, now, the question is, how the hell did he come down with COVID? Because he had the vaccination. But he got sick. He got a COVID test. It came back positive, And he's got COVID and is deathly ill. 
Now, I think he'll probably be okay since he had the, you know, the vaccine. But, you know, we hear more and more of this happening about people getting COVID after they've had the vaccine. So I've gotten to the point now, I'm not going out again. I'm not taking the subways. I'm not doing anything uh, where I've got to go somewhere where I might be confronted with COVID. All right. So anyway, um, uh, that that was that. So now what, when are we going to do it again? Well, uh, the judges offer the month of August. Bye bye. Have a nice time. Go spend all that judge money, you know, on a vacation. And then uh, he won't be back until uh, till uh, uh, September. So it's been held off until September. Th you know, I'm I'm going to die before this thing resolves itself. Okay, and I think in a way, certain people are hoping I do, so that they don't have to, you know, come to terms with the situation. Anyway, so that that was uh, that was what happened to me today. So I'm a, a little bit more tired than usual because I got up. Uh, about an hour and a half earlier than I usually do. And uh, last night, see, after the show is over here, uh, I have to uh, uh, post uh, the shows. I post my show, and then I have to wait for, um, for uh, uh, Jack to be through with his show, and then I, I post all those shows, and then I can go to bed. But Jack always takes much longer. I mean, uh, Damien's the the killer guy when it comes to posting his shows I think about two minutes after he's finished his show it's posted okay but Jack takes 20 minutes and you know and and on the last night I really wanted to get to bed early so that I could uh, I could have a nice night's rest but uh, not to no avail so I got less sleep than I normally got in fact let me let me look at my I think if I look at my clock well maybe I don't know. Was that? Let's see here. I look at my uh, uh, thing. See uh, here. Whatever that is. Um, and then I go to sleep. Is this last night? Yeah, Thursday night. Six hours and forty-nine minutes. See that? Six hours and forty-nine minutes. So I didn't. Uh, I didn't get a full. I have to get a full eight hours, or I'm just. Uh, I'm. I'm just dragging my tail all day. Caught a little bit of a nap during the afternoon, but not enough to to make it hey listen nobody's calling so what i may do is i may just uh, put an end to this program uh gee nobody all right okay well i'll give it another couple of, oh here here well here comes jeff uh i need a few more than that to do a show so we'll just we'll just wait here for a couple of minutes and then uh then we're on our way you know i'll say hello to jeff and uh, okay, well, let me bring in Jeffrey. Okay, uh, Jeff Stein. You know, um, let me see here. Let me do this. Okay, hello, Jeff. How are you? I can't hear you. You're you're, you're muted yourself. Oh, here comes Josh Wheeler. Well, that's, here I am. That we now we have two of us here. <laughs> uh, Maybe I shouldn't let anybody else on as a penalty for joining us late. You know, usually I have a whole bunch of people waiting to go on, but they, they've gotten a little, they, 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 they go, well, you know, Alex is running an interview, so he won't be going until 11 o'clock, 11.05. Well, today I was through at 55, okay? So don't count on that, assholes, you know? <coughs> Just don't count on it. Hello, Josh. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. As I told my story, I, you know, I got up early to go to our lawyer's office to do a, a Zoom conference with the judge and try and solve this problem. And then I get up and I said to Marjorie, why didn't you wake me up? She says, no reason to. They've canceled it. And as I said, this one lawyer, lawyer for the apartment house, uh, came down with COVID and he has the vaccine. Okay. I think we're going to find this is happen going to happen more and more. You know, you know, if Patrick Blazik were here, okay. he's going to call. Oh, it would be our little, uh, our little, he's, our little, uh, he's on his way. Oh, really? 
okay. He had to uh, he had to urinate, and then he'll be. Right oh, well, then then he should be here maybe next week if he had to do he's, that. You know, he's wheeling his way to his computer even, right now, even as we speak. Right. Well, you know, maybe I want, maybe I'll just keep Jeffrey here, and maybe we'll just be like the four of the four guys, and and Jeff. Can get him one. <laughs> huh? And Jeff, Jeff will get a bonus because he was good enough to be the first to call tonight. You know. Hi, how you doing, Kevin? Good. How you doing, Alex? Yeah. How, what, 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 what's going on in the world that you're thinking about? Oh, not much. I've just been busy with my mom all week. And... You, know, you know what I find? I haven't been watching. Uh, well, here comes Tony. Now, should I let Tony in? You guys mind having Tony in here? Uh, no coffee, please. Uh, no coffee, please. How about how about you, you guys? Okay with Tony? <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're not, I'll just get, get get rid of him. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me just tell him we're voting on him. Uh, um, we're we're we're, uh, we're we're taking a vote. Public vote. We're taking a vote, Tony, uh, to see if you should be on tonight with us. What is it? We're, we're taking a vote to see if you should be uh -huh. on with us tonight. Okay. See, because uh, this is, we have a little club. Oh, you were doing a Saturday? Well, I'm going to hang up? I'll, I'll no, 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 not yet. Not yet. Okay. We haven't taken the vote yet. <laughs> <laughs> How many here say we should, uh, uh, well, let's see here. What's the best way to do it? Keep Tony on or get rid of Tony? Yeah. I welcome all people. You welcome all people. Oh, gee. It's, a, it's well, very religious of you. Willing to talk to anybody. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think we we let anybody here. Huh? Okay. We pretty <laughs> much let everybody here. Okay, that's Thank nice. You. Yeah. And there's only one person talking in the uh, chat room. Boy, what has happened? Have I suddenly become a non-entity in this uh, world of podcasting? Hmm. I don't know. It's Friday night, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. People got stuff going on or something. What? They're all watching the uh, the uh, Olympics. I can't even get into the Olympics. I can't get. That's into possible. It. People do like it. I have I not. I can't understand the, why. But only time I've watched it is when I go into the bedroom and Marjorie is sitting there, uh, yeah. doing it. You know, Some watching. People, it. Doing Some it. People really like it. Yeah. Well, I think it's boring this year. To tell you the truth, and, the I, no and I don't watch it at all. In fact, you know what? I also am not watching the news. <laughs> oh, I'm watching the news. Sometimes I like watch. The, there. I'll, I'll watch the the national news at night uh, because yeah. it's kind of like they just give you the, the the highlights of the day. I mean, I I guess I guess we're gonna get you know the infrastructure package. Yeah. You know, apparently. Yeah. Um, saying it, but none yet. No, I don't. I mean, I think the only thing I'm a little confused about is I haven't seen a lot of information yet about what's actually, like, what's in there, like, what's going to get, you know, what's going to get done, you know, what's getting fixed. Yeah. You know, it's pretty generic, so, you know, like, you know, down here, I don't know if, you know, like, if the Brent Spitz Bridge on I-71 from Cincinnati to Kentucky is finally, you know, is that going to get in there and finally get replaced after all these years? What's the name and, of that bridge again? Uh, it's the Brit Spence, so like B R I T T S P E N C E. Oh, okay. Named nice. after someone, I believe, the Brit Spence. Well, I would imagine it was named after Brit Spence. I would imagine. Yeah. And uh, if it isn't, they made a lousy mistake. <laughs> yeah. I mean, every president since like Bush has tried to get that. I mean, you know what I'm saying. So if if uh, you know, if it gets done, it'd be great. I mean, you know, obviously needs replaced. So I don't know if like if. But it, but it's that's one of the projects that's huge. I mean, they always talk about how the cost for it's going to be like three hundred eighty, four hundred million dollars. I mean, like you know, enormous, yeah, huge cost. So I don't know that. I mean, so what's actually going to get done yet? I don't I don't really know. I mean, but no, they least, keep talking about what's not going to be in the bill. That's all they yeah. keep yapping about. Well, right. I mean, they all, they're going to tend to focus on that, which you know, it just leads to more. I guess arguing or whatever. I mean, then then get it done and then go back to work and try to get more. I mean, yeah, you know, you didn't you didn't knock everybody in this inning that was on base. So 
So this inning's over. Deal with it. Now get back to it. You know, yeah. and just keep working. You yeah. know, I mean, just keep so, doing what you can. So, you can so since, since they did that vote, does that mean that it can't be filibustered now because they already got past the filibuster? Well, yeah, that, I believe so. I, I think they got past that. Yeah, you know, it, I think that's what happened in the Senate. Yeah, because that that uh, the vote where they got like seventeen Republicans to vote for it. That was just to yeah, go I, forward I, to I, open right. the case. Right, but I, I think that since they've pretty much reached a, a deal and an agreement in principle, that the yeah. people that were are going to then vote for the actual bill, you know, got them oh, got yeah. them through cloture, and gets them what they need. So now that they've gotten through cloture, you know, next time they go to pass the bill, they just, I, you know, just need. Well, to now they got to write the bill. You know, so right, um, you know, they'll just need their, you know, their simple majority or whatever yeah. but i mean so that's good i mean look you know we're gonna fix some things that's better than not fixing things well, I, mean, I, guess, I guess you know, you know that's uh, our preference but but, but it, well, st- still it's just a bunch of lawyers you know it, it, mm-hmm. in washington they just right. sit around saying well, well let's take a vote to see if we're going to take a vote can you speed uh, things up a little bit please you know. Yeah, it's a little aggravating sometimes. I know, you know, but I mean, it's, hmm. you know, I'm I'm really a little behind on it just because I've had a hard time watching the national news too. I mean, yeah, you know, I, if I leave work at four thirty or four or whatever, and I want to listen even to like CNN or MSNBC on the way home in the car, I have a tough time because you know I'll turn you know at that hour you know like Nicole Wallace is going to be on for example and. I like her, and she does a really good job and everything, but I just, her top story every day is Trump, 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 Trump. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? He's doing? always doing shit, you know? Well, are they yeah. still are they still talking about Trump that much? Well, it's, every it, fucking day. You, you know, shit keeps coming out about him. No, but know? we should just ignore him. Right. You I know, mean, let whoever's going to bust him for something or another bust him, but ignore him. He's a guy who will die in the in the dimness of no spotlight, you yeah, know, yeah. Um, because he lives for it. Hello, Patrick. Patrick, is he frozen? Oh, there he is, Patrick. I think he was. Can you hear me, Patrick? I, uh, my internet's all fucked up, so. Yeah. Well, you, you're fine right now, so. All right. Hello, Patrick. Morning. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of like uh, we we get together on Saturday nights and talk to each other, and uh, this is kind of that with a few other people in there, mm-hmm. you know. But I mean, I, I mean, obviously nuggets about Trump keep you know falling out, and that's fine. But I I, I don't know. I just I guess I just get tired of you know every day at, you know four yeah. o'clock or whatever. That's the top. That's not the top story. <laughs> well, I, I, the few times I've seen it, I, I didn't hear that much about Trump. Yeah, I mean, I, you just, know. I mean, I, I mean, it's, but they, you it, know, it, and then, I mean, I basically, I don't know, maybe it's the, the times that I listen then or something, you know, it just seems like on the way home, it's, you know, Trump, well, Trump, I, Trump, I actually Trump. think that like MSNBC and, and CNN really miss Trump because they're having to find other things to talk about. And it's yeah. very hard to, you know, to gin up a lot of the stuff that they're trying to gin up. Yeah, and then, you know, you know well, and then in you're the right, because I've seen, I've done the same thing. I've, I was watching CNN and MSNBC, and that's all they were talking about. So I switched over to Fox, and they were talking about how everybody should be getting vaccinated. And I went, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. so I watched them for a while. Isn't it amazing how they change their tune? You know? Yeah, it was it was pretty interesting, and and they didn't mm. talk a lot about all the other bullshit. So I watched them for a while. Yeah, I was doing other shit, but I, you know, I watched them for a while. Well, how do you guys feel about the fact that you you know, like I I mentioned the story about how we were supposed to have this legal yeah. thing today, this court thing today on Zoom, and it had to be canceled because uh, the lawyer for the apartment house. Uh, Came down with COVID, and he's been vaccinated. Alex, my friend Welcome called me uh, yesterday and said that her financial planner she was planning to go see got COVID as well, and he's been vaccinated. So what? What? Mm-hmm. What is this now? Is everybody who got vaccinated getting it? 
It's the oh, Delta okay. variant. Yeah, they get it. You get it. Oh. Listen, listen yeah. to this, Alan. When you, uh, what, Tony? When you mentioned that before yeah. about your lawyer, mm -hmm. I was reading Not the my news. lawyer. Oh. It's a, the lawyer. Oh, the other lawyer? lawyer? Yeah. I was reading the local news on the internet, and CNBC just put an article up a few hours ago. CDC studies show 74% of people infected in Massachusetts COVID outbreak were fully vaccinated. Yeah, that was that big event they had out there, I think. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, but... Um... 74% were fully vaccinated and they no, came wait, down. No, wait, wait, where is it? 74% of all fully vaccinated people got COVID or everybody yeah. that went to this event, 74%. That went to the event. That went to the event. You got the story people. wrong, Tony. Yeah. You know, they were fully vaccinated. They had the dose. No, no, here's right. what we're saying. But at this event, not oh, at in, this event, yeah. but not that's in scary, Massachusetts though. as a whole. Yeah, but oh, that's but, scary, though. Three fourths of the people. Well, you know, I mean, these people go to a, an event like that. They they're really close to each other. They're not wearing masks, and they come down with the Delta variant. Now, they're probably not going to. They're going to be sick, but they're not going to die from it. You know, all the, all the people that got <laughs> sick and died from that event were not vaccinated. Oh, okay. Yeah, this guy yeah, said that he got pretty sick for about a week, and he's back to ninety percent today. So, so didn't uh, didn't Massachusetts get the message that these events shouldn't be allowed? You know, I mean, we're yeah. going to be we're going to be we're going to be back to stay yeah. home. Okay, I don't want to go. We're going to be you. back to don't go to work. We're going to. Well, he's saying that he's not going to do that, but. I don't know. They may they may have well, to go what, that. Well, what other choice do you have? I mean, we've got enough idiots well, out there who didn't get the goddamn uh, uh, vaccine. If everybody had gotten the vaccine, the Delta variant probably wouldn't be grabbing hold like it is. This is because like it wouldn't have had anywhere way. to go. What? You know what they said in this article? They say it's more it's more easily passable the Delta variant than the first strain. It's oh, yeah. more easily. And I, I sit there and wonder about this. You know, I don't know if they're putting on a scare tactic or not. You know, you wonder about that because the ex, you know, the uh, exponentially more uh, uh, contagious it is. They're saying rather than one to three, now it's one to nine or one to eight or something like that. Now, mm -hmm. you know, you wonder whether they're just saying this stuff to get people to take the shot. I, you know, I, I, I'm suspicious of stuff like that, well, too. I mean, like this is but, a, this is coming to my own life where I now have heard that this uh, that this individual, you know, was. Fully yeah. And vaccinated. I know someone now, too, that's got it. Yeah. And that yeah. was vaccinated. But he he came he did come into contact with somebody who had covid or who came down with covid and was in close contact with him. So that's yeah, the well, way he doesn't he got know where him. he got his. He, yeah. But, he's, he's a you know he's a CPA. He could have gotten it from one of his customers or whatever. One of his clients, yeah. But yeah. I, I mean, uh, it 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 really is starting to scare me again. I'm beginning to go to get to the point where I'm going. I guess I'm not going out again. <clears throat> well, the one thing the one thing that Fox did do in one of the interviews I heard is that they did stir up a little shit because that one one uh, reporter I can't remember his name. I I see him all the time, but. He's going to, he's, he's asking Biden, he says, didn't you say no one had to wear masks? Didn't you say that? Didn't you say that? Well, he's talking about back in May. And we all know that things are constantly changing. He said, you told us we didn't have to wear masks. And now look what's going on. Well, I think they could have been a little careful to be so outgoing about, oh, hey, everybody, it's Adult Swim now, you know? I, I mean, agree. I because agree. by doing they that... They shouldn't have been so open and said, you know, just, okay, take them off, throw them away. They shouldn't have done it until they saw that the coast was clear, because what it does mm -hmm. is what one of the things that has prevented people from or contributing to the hesitancy yeah. is the CDC's way of handling this thing, which has I agree with that. not been really forthcoming. You know, not a great communicator. Yeah, no, no, definitely not. And, oh, you know, really I mean, I, I had to apologize to Tony. I mean, mm -hmm. to, to, to Patrick a couple of weeks ago because he said, well, once I get mine, my my vaccination, I'm going out, with a, you know, without yeah. a mask and so on. And I had to apologize to Patrick because I said, you know, you really turned out to be right. It makes sense. If you're vaccinated, you're not going to get it. If other people are there that have uh, are not uh, not vaccinated, you're not going to get it from them because why? You're vaccinated. 
What do you think now, Patrick, with all the latest stuff? That's I was going saying on? the same thing. Hey, I I haven't changed a thing, and, and <laughs> I'll be a fuck if I wear a mask. No, I I'm done. I got my two shots. I'm done. And then the Delta variant, yes, it's more contagious, but it's less deadly. So I mean, well, no, it's you know, not. It's not le less deadly. It's less deadly to people who have had the vaccination. It's, they're not. What, I, what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. and and I'm fucking vaccinated. I'm not responsible for other people. And let me just say this, and then I'll shut up. Yeah. I have to go to the doctor earlier in the week to get yeah. a CT scan. Yeah. And as I was walking, I'm sorry, wheeling in the door, <laughs> there was a big, there was a big. Um, sign that they had a uh, freestanding sign and it said COVID-19 vaccine walk-ins welcome you know what that means anybody can fucking get them now yeah. and anybody that wanted them will already have had them mm -hmm. and they're done I'm done with my part I'm, I'm yeah, finished yeah but what do, you, so, what do you have to say in light of the fact, fact like today uh, you know, I came in contact with a situation where the person has been vaccinated and wound up getting COVID. You know, uh, don't you worry about that a little bit? That mask is not going to save me from everything, and I'll be damned if I'm going to. Well, finish. I'm not going to wear the mask outdoors. I think we've I'm all not pretty. I'm wearing it anywhere anymore. Well, well I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it in a, a in a, a say a movie theater. I wouldn't do it in a concert. I would wear a mask, you know. But when you're outdoors and you're walking down the street, your chances are very remote that you're going to get it. And if you've got the vaccination and you get it, you're not, you're not going to get it full blown. You may not get a, a happy version of it, but you're certainly not going to get one that's going to kill you or hospitalize you. So, you know. But I was just wondering if, if you would change your opinion a little bit about how you modify your behavior, you know. No. Y yes, Alan. Jeff was first. What? Jeffrey was first. Oh, Jeff, okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, st I got a, the opportunity to, to see about 200 people or 100 people on Saturday mm -hmm. at a, I'll call it a party, but it, yeah. it wouldn't, yeah, anyway. Uh, nobody had masks other than my wife and like two other people. How about you? Well, yeah, at first I had it on for a second or two and I couldn't breathe through the damn thing. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I took it off. So anyway, after that, I, we both got it tested and I passed and Pam's test didn't work. Well, I mean, it didn't work. It just didn't. It wasn't. They that you, lost it, it or something. They, oh, they lost. They <laughs> <laughs> so she took another one today. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I passed, so I'm okay. <laughs> but I don't know if I should. Well, you know, it, you can assume pretty much that if you passed, she would pass. Well, you know. I yeah, mean, we agree. Well, I mean, it, unless she was coming into, well, she could, yeah. because I would think you would have come down with it if she had it. Yeah. You know? Like Marjorie, every now and then when she used to go in to get these shots and stuff, she had to have had to go get a, a test before they would do it because it was surgery. Right. And then when she got it and she came out uh, negative, you know, I just assumed I was negative because I didn't leave the house. And mm -hmm. the only person I've been in contact with is her. So I think it's safe for me to assume that I don't have it. Uh, eventually, I did get tested because, what, they offered me 50 bucks to get tested. You got 50 dollars? Yeah. Yeah, I was walking down the street, and they're saying, would you like to come in and take a COVID test and also answer a few questions? And I said, sure. They said, for 50 bucks? I said, sure. You know, I'm a good citizen. However, if they hadn't said 50 bucks, I would have kept walking, but you know. So, but anyway, so I said, sure, and I took, and they, they did it, and I, I didn't hear that I, you know, the result was negative. So I'm, I, you know, I'm, I, at least as of that, I was fine. Yes, Alan. 
So on uh, one Friday a month, uh, I get on a Zoom meeting with the CDC. And that's where I was at tonight. And so some of the news that was announced in the meeting, I don't get to talk because I'm not a medical doctor, but I have a biology. Well, it's just, it's just a Zoom meeting that anybody can join. No. No? no it's, what, it's, why, made for, it's made for people that, that deal with virology. And a friend of mine's a virologist in Southern California. Got me involved in it. They think I'm a virologist. It doesn't okay. matter. I, can't, I still can't speak. You just today. play I, one on TV. <clears throat> anyway, what's just, your point? I just play one on the Alex Bennett show. What's your point? So, well, my point is, is that um, we may be, uh, th th they're, they're running out of vaccines again. And that means people are getting them. Uh, people that have not got them. And that's good news. The bad news is, is that, uh, a lot more people are coming down with COVID that are fully vaccinated than they anticipated with the Delta variant. Uh, and you know, you're know you almost 100% right, Alex, on people are not going to the hospital, getting sick and dying, but yet some people are. Uh, a, a vaccine that's 95% effective means one in 20 people are not rather protected at all or not fully protected and you don't know who you are. And so a lot of people, I, I think the government shouldn't have uh, taken away the masks and said the CDC shouldn't have said, you'll leave, never need them or you're fully vaccinated because that just wasn't the case. So that's well, kind of what, that's kind of what the two hour meeting. They're 95% the effective, but we found that among people who are vaccinated and the people who who are vaccinated and come down with COVID, it's only 99.5 percent, and, and only 0.5 percent of those who've been vaccinated who come. Yeah, down it's like it. six out of every hundred thousand that actually end up in the hospital. Yeah. So, but and so I mean, that's a real low number. But, You're correct there, but but I don't. I, know. Would, I would go back to wearing a mask inside in crowds, at parties. Where Jeff was well, at, I would you know. I, also, I would say if you're younger, I mean, t t uh, Patrick's probably the youngest person almost in this little room here, and uh, so so is Josh, uh, and uh, I think they are not as if they got it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be as terrible. And also, t remember, Patrick is vaccinated. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I heard him say that. I heard him before, but. Actually, children are the number one people that are getting COVID. Well, because right they're now. not getting the shots. Because they haven't got the shots. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 But, uh, you know, I mean, but I, it, I just think that the trouble is that all this conflicting news doesn't help to do away with those people who don't want to oh, get the shot. You're, you're absolutely right. You know, they're right. saying, why should I do it? I, if I'm going to get it a, a, anyway, why should I do it? Why should I take the chance? We didn't trust the CDC under Trump, and now they're backpedaling and not looking too Well, I think the CDC has a bad ability at communicating, really. I think mm -hmm. that's the main yeah. problem we face yeah. here. Yeah. Don't you feel that, Josh? Yeah. I mean, look, I, I, don't, I don't even like hearing them talk. Because <laughs> they, you know, I mean, look, I'm just saying, I mean, people criticize some people for not taking the vaccination or whatever and I haven't really talked about it much on the show because I don't want to hear the shit from people but you know I don't understand why people are having a hard time understanding why some people don't want it when one of the people involved in it was you know Dr. Deborah Burks or whatever yeah you know, I think right. fucking right I don't want anything to do with anything that fucking stupid bitch had to do with you know what I'm saying I mean so Trump and this Deborah Burks and these other fucking clowns that he fucking hired that worked there for six weeks were the dream team that came up with this shit. And there are some people that can't understand why I didn't fucking run out and want to get it. Fucking, you know, I mean, and now it's having problems and all. Well, fucking. De well it's actually. I mean, if you don't agree with the choice, that's fine. Deborah Burks. You know, I, I yeah. won't, you know, say that someone else shouldn't have. I'm just saying, look, if people don't want to get it, maybe they should look at the. PR campaign they ran to sell it. it yeah, but you see, I think it's the very people that are not getting to see if, if if we had a majority of the country get the vaccine, then we would not be getting uh, this Delta virus, uh, variant would not have had as much of a chance to grab hold. 
but it was the people who didn't get vaccinated that have caused the Delta variant to spread. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think that sounds good, but I, I don't know. But I, I look at that and I say, no, if it weren't that, then it would be the echo variant or the Larry variant, or that there'd just be another. Well, there's thing. A, there's anyone, let's this see. It's going to fucking go on for 10 more years. What is this? The Delta variant? The gamma va- va- variant will be Let next. Let people fucking make their Lambda. choices. Lambda. Yep. Lambda is next. Yeah. Lambda is I mean, the if, next one. Yeah. I don't know. They how have they... this fucking vaccine now that they can <clears throat> work so great. Then let people go get it that want to get it, and people who don't, well, then let them fucking. Right. We we you know, we know that you're not vaccinated, Josh. You know, and I don't think I think it's a personal choice. You're an educated, smart guy, and if you think you're okay being un. Why why haven't you done it, Josh? You just haven't gotten around to it, or you didn't see any reason to, or. I mean, one of the reasons is I don't like the people that came up with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Another reason is I particularly don't like doctors. I mean, I well, really who does? I've never met a. I, I don't know that I've ever met a doctor that I liked that wasn't yeah. an asshole. Patrick's. Got I mean, his, yeah. you know, like I said, I mean, they, you know, I know you don't really know this, but I think I talked to Patrick and Kevin about it. You know, they diagnosed my dad with this, you know, disease now that they say that I'm going to have because he has it. And they take him in three or four days later to do a surgery on his back and his neck for this spinal cord disease that he has before he, you know, becomes paralyzed. I mean, he gets diagnosed one day and he has back surgery like four or five days later. They cut his back open, you know, 18 inches and they sent him home with 12 Percocets. And when they ran out, he's not allowed to have any more. They, they, they had to give him something less. Than so that. now he's paralyzed as a result? No, he, they had oh, he's to in a lot of pain. He became paralyzed. Oh, okay. He's in a lot of pain. Uh, yes, uh, Patrick, but, Patrick's... but they don't care. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I don't understand how someone can stay in the hospital for four or five days and have a major surgery and be told your disease is debilitating and you're never going to walk without a walker or a cane for the rest of your life. And here's 12 Percocets and some extra strength Tylenol. You should be fine. Yeah. And want to know why people like me don't like doctors? Because I have to go to a fucking drug dealer and buy him fucking pills. That's yeah. why. Because <laughs> you fuckers don't subscribe to me. Yeah. Uh, 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 Patrick, doctors, Patrick's got I don't it. think doctors care about people. I really don't. Patrick's got his hand up. Patrick? Yeah, I, I just wanted to say to Josh, and Josh is only one person, but I've got people that are on my ass, like on Facebook and that, that are just claiming that it's only people on the right that are against the vaccination. And I've explained that I've got friends on the left, and I haven't named anybody. Josh is one of them. But Josh, very much. I've got other friends that are black, that are very, very suspicious. I've got, I've got one friend who is a, uh, what is she, a Quaker? And it, it religious shit. And there are people on the left, just like the right. And I'm so tired of hearing that it's only, uh, only right wingers that are that are against the vaccine you know it's people making decisions for their own lives and like josh he's making a choice he's doing whatever deductive reasoning he's doing to say you know what this isn't for me and he should be able to have that choice and not be caring to death by everybody else okay can i just say something for me uh, I, I am only concerned about Josh because I like Josh, and I don't want him to get sick, and I don't want him to come down with it, and uh, I, I think he's exposing himself to that possibility. But that's only because I like him. But you that's know. his choice. It's his choice, and if he gets sick, he has no one to blame but himself, and Josh knows that. Josh is not going to come on here. Let's say Josh gets sick this weekend, mm-hmm. ends up in the hospital, and then he's not going to come on the show in three weeks or whatever when he's better and say, well, none of you fuckers told me that I would get sick. I mean, am I wrong, well, Josh? No, I mean, you know, and I'm, and I'm not even saying that I won't stop over at one of these places and get it. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm not, like, if, if you were say let's say let's say just, let's say for you know. for for grins you were at the grocery store and they were giving out the you know the vaccine would you just do it because it was purely convenient i mean i 
wouldn't be against it. Yeah, you know? see? I, I mean, I, I, I think the one where you only got to get it once would be better. I mean, my wife went and got hers, you know, like last week when she got the second one. And she couldn't do anything for three fucking days. And that's the other thing. I'm like, I guess I'd have to time it out on like Friday or whatever because I she was fucking fucked up man she couldn't do anything i'm like if that shit happens i can't die. your wife your wife had the shot not yeah. everybody gets huh well, i know not everybody gets it but you know if she... who who it's, got it's, wait a minute was it your, you say it was your wife that got ill yeah when she got her the back shot. oh when she got her what shot so say? she's been vaccinated and you haven't yeah okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i mean yeah. she could got hers pretty late she you have kids josh yeah, look Josh, do you have kids? No, no. He, didn't. Okay. no he doesn't. Let me ask you this, Josh. Why uh, she got it? Why did she get it? And you did. I know you didn't, but in in the light of the fact that you didn't, why did she get it? I mean, I don't know if she had a particular reason. I mean, she didn't get hers right off the bat or anything. You know, she finally got hers when the little place down the street in the small village that we live in the pharmacy offered it because she could get herself there without anyone having to help her or whatever okay i mean uh because she doesn't really drive anywhere by herself except a couple of places yeah you know and i mean she got it but you know like i said the second shot had her so messed up that you know she didn't do anything for like three days i mean you know i mean well, so, I just like to know. I just like to know that friends of mine have been vaccinated, just simply because I, I want them to stay healthy, you know. Uh, and uh, you know, it's it's uh, uh, it, it's just uh, caring about other people, you know. I, there's some people I don't give a shit if they get it, you know. Uh, well, yes, uh, uh, John. You know, there a lot of people have a lot of different reasons, you know, for not getting the shot you know that some people are just scared you know that you know or that they they're suspicious of it but then there's these other people that irritate me that that they just say hey you know i'm a libertarian or it's you know i you know you can't force me to get it get the shot and it's like or you can't force me to put the the face mask on and it's like we're not forcing you, you know. It's just the smart. Well, thing it, I, it goes back to what we used to say all the time, and that is, you're doing it for other people, not for yourself. Yeah. You yeah, know, it, it, you're doing it, it out of respect for other people. Yeah, it's, it's these Republican. But I, 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 I don't wear a mask out, out outdoors when I'm walking around. No. Uh, although I live in a, a pretty much a fully black neighborhood here, and I do have certain suspicions that because of the hesitancy among the black community. <clears throat> that it may be running a little rampant out there, but there's no sign of that because when we see the statistics for our area, uh, mm -hmm. they're probably lower than anywhere else in New York City. So so, so they, they pretty much uh, figured out that the highest rate of transmission is indoors. Well, how yeah. terrible can things be in New York? Hold on a second, let me just get these statistics. This week, not so bad. No, well, look, look at weeks. this, look at this. 100, 100, they had 103, uh, of 103,159 tests reported yesterday, only 2,567, or 2.9% 2 were positive. That's kind of high for us, but then also yes, it's, it it's a lower uh, rate of people that we tested mm -hmm. as well. It says, we believe that as many as three quarters of these positive cases are the Delta variant, okay? Yep. The seven-day positivity average was 2.17%, but there were 126 patients in ICUs yesterday. That's very low. And of them, of those 126, 57 are intubated. That used to be up in the thousands. Yeah. Okay, so basically, and uh, we lost two New Yorkers to the virus. Now we got 300 uh, different hotel, uh, hospitals in the state. Uh, and so if you divide that up among that, it's pretty low. You know, we don't have a big run on the uh, hospitals here, but I'm still, you will. I'm still, you will. Well, I don't think so. Okay. I think we have managed. I'll bet, I'll bet you a nickel. I, I, I hope you're right, but. Well, you're usually up. wrong on most stuff, so. What, me? Yeah. <laughs> so you should take the, you should take the bet. Yeah, I mean. But, yeah, you know, um, 
I, I just think it's picking up. You know, a couple of weeks ago, you were saying that you looked at the news while we were on the show, and there was nothing in New York. Uh, this is... Yeah, but this is 126 people in ICU, as opposed to even back a few weeks ago, it was three, 400. Okay? So uh, that's your test. Your test is how many died. Your test is how many are intubated, because 80% of that 57 people who are intubated are probably going to die. That's a known statistic, but that means that we're not we're we're going to get to the point where we had a couple about a week or so ago we didn't have anybody die in the state of New York zero. Well, I don't I don't see any downside to wearing a mask indoors. I, I well no you know, I, I I do it because right. to begin with mo too. all the places I go want a mask. I go to the grocery store they want me to wear a mask. The uh, pharmacy wants me to wear a mask, uh, right. you know. So I mean, yes, I, I'll wear a mask where I have well, you're, to. You're on the same page I am. Uh, there's no real downside to wearing a mask. Well, I think there is a downside to wearing a mask. What's that? They, they I can't. can't I, I, can, I can't breathe well. I mean, I it, it's so refreshing to be able to take my walk every day and not have to put a mask on. Okay, you I know. get that. You know, because I, I, I was short of breath as a result of wearing the mask. I'll buy that. You know, uh, yeah. so. Uh, you weren't supposed, you were supposed to wear a mask, not a ball gag. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I don't get mm -hmm. it. So these guys, these Can't Congress, breathe. these Republican congressmen that are screaming and yelling on the, you know, about Pelosi forcing them to wear masks, that's just performance, you know, I mean. Uh, they probably all got their vaccines and stuff. And do you know, know they, they, they among the Republicans, they won't say whether they've been vaccinated I or know. not. Yeah. yeah, they don't want to send the message back home to their constituents that they yeah. were pussies and got the vaccine. Yeah, you know. So uh, I, it could. How many? How how many people do you think just don't want the shot because they're afraid of getting a needle stuck in their arm? A lot. Just I that. Would say a lot. A lot, you know, and you, and 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 how much does it help that on television, on every newscast, there are at least five shots of people getting a needle stuck in their arm? Yeah, you know, uh, uh, I think people should know that it's pretty simple. I mean, that that they barely have to push to put that thing in; it just sinks in on its own. Um, does Josh have to uh, wear a mask at, at work? Do you have to wear a mask at work, Josh? No. Are you are you in an office with other people? Um, I'm all over the plant all day. I mean, I have my own office, but they don't make anyone wear them anymore. I mean, they dropped it. Really? All that stuff went away a couple months ago. That's amazing because I would think I saw a thing the other day that said that a lot of companies are still doing mask mandates because they don't want to get sued if somebody comes down with COVID. Yeah. yeah, and they dropped it when the stuff went away. I don't know how. Really I mean, yours is a big like. company. They should be worried yeah. about they, they 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 got deep pockets, so somebody's going to sue the bejesus out of them. You know? I don't know. I mean, they. I don't. Know, whenever that stuff was pulled back, it was like six weeks ago or so. I don't eight, you know, two months. I don't know what it was, yeah. but you know, you had to do it then. I mean, again, you know, fuck that walking around. 100 fucking degrees in there wearing fucking one of them things. Like yeah, well, I, I, you know, uh, I, I understand what you're saying, but, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking that it's, if I, if it were my company, I'd make people wear the mask because I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want the legal culpability mm -hmm. in it all. Uh, I wonder, uh, I, I, I wonder what's going to happen with my work in, I think it starts in October, mm -hmm. you know, at the concerts and stuff. If, are people going to have to I, you know, who knows? You, you, you just stay, stay tuned. Yeah. You know, yeah, San Francisco may not even open that up. I know. I may not. Go, I not may not be going back to work. Supposedly, so the, the, the Orpheum where they have Hamilton is supposed to start next week, but I, I don't know for sure if if it's going to start. So, so the know. the test numbers that we're seeing it from the CDC and from New York and stuff like that. What um are probably only 20% of the real cases that never get reported, never get tested. 
Apparently the Delta variant for most people that are fully vaccinated feels like a cold. And so somebody gets a cold, they're not gonna go to the doctor, they're not gonna get tested and and therefore they don't get counted. So, uh, you know, I, I, I'm hoping that we didn't do too little too well, late. Well, thanks for adding to the confusion. It's not confusing. It's just that what, what they're telling you, if they tell you a thousand people got COVID this week, it's really more like 5,000. That's all. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. Well, so. No, it's not as simple as that. You're talking about an, a, a number we don't know. And so you're, we, you're, you're taking the high end. It. You're taking the high end of what it could be, but not the low end of what it could be. Well, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. You know, it's all hypothesis. It is. Yeah. It is. Statistics, probability, there's a lot. Of what's, stuff. what's new in the world of Patrick Blazik? Anything that you're watching or seeing or doing? Patrick, did you hear me? Uh, I, I, I got a friend of mine who was just piping in on her own on the uh, mast. Oh. She, it's a whole different conversation. Ah. I get mentioned that. I get mentioned that we were talking about it here, and then she was talking about it with me so what what's her take on it she'd one of them who will not get the vaccine she would rather wear a mask pretty much for the rest of her life than get the vaccine hmm. what's so, the reason for not getting the vaccine it are uh, personal reason she she doesn't she doesn't trust doctors she doesn't trust that the vaccine had been um, tested enough or, or whatever. And uh, she's not unlike Josh in that sense when she talked about it, so whatever. And, and oh, the only thing that I've said to her is, I got mine and, and I guess if you get sick, well, that's your deal. Yeah. And she pretty much quarantine herself all she does is she goes to work and comes home and does her grocery shopping okay. that's it she doesn't she doesn't socialize she doesn't do it and and if she's comfortable with that for the next five fucking years then good for her yeah 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 well you know i mean uh you know, I, like josh there's gonna be a larry there's gonna be the larry version and then the fucking Wang version. And, <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't think they're gonna. I mean, the shit's. It's never gonna fucking stop. I, I think. I think you're right, Josh. I think we're COVID. At some point, around. just let the fucking people that want it get it. The other people that don't, and then, you know, run the fucking country. I mean. I, I mean. One point. I mean, how fucking long has it got to stay like that? I mean, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, it, 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 how long it can stay is how long this uh, this uh, virus tends to mutate and keep working and going on. Yes, Tony. I mean, I mean we'll do that fucking for forever. Tony we has were, his hand up. Yeah, me and my brother, we were talking about it in the car today going grocery shopping mm -hmm. about COVID. I think this whole decade of the 2020s, this is going. This is going to be here with us for at least the next four or five. Years, I was I mentioning it. The fucking thing version. And <laughs> right. I, I don't. I don't think they're going to. What? Who? 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 Who had their audio up there? You were going to say something. Yeah, uh, uh, do you have your hand up, Patrick? Yeah, I was. I was just going to say, following Josh, where. Uh, I think it's going to be like the flu, that I'm going to be seeing this when I'm your age, Alan. Well, so, you know, I, I, I was saying to Marjorie and some other people uh, that I didn't know whether this was actually going to go away or whether we aren't stuck with this flu in some form or another until, you know, you know what happened? We missed, somebody mentioned it last night, the Spanish flu. Mm -hmm. Do you know how long it took to go away? Three waves. No. Do you know how long it took to go away once it went away? Two years. Two years? You know, I mean, you'd think they, you know, tapered down, right? Spanish yeah. flu was gone in two days. Two days? One day it was there, and two days later it wasn't. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, but this doesn't seem to be that kind of flu. This thing the seems to just... stuff 
took what? a long, long time to get rid of that. What? Absolutely. Absolutely. Polio. Polio? Well, polio was a different situation. So is COVID. It's different than a flu. No, but polio was a different situation. Polio, uh, I don't want to get into the whole story again, but the polio actually came about because we became cleaner. Mm -hmm. uh, because we did not have the uh, kids were not being born. You notice how kids got polio more than adults? And it happened to be because kids, as they were growing up, uh, in the early days with the filthiness of the country with manure on the streets and everything like that uh, built up an immunity as they were as they were growing up uh, and so polio never had a chance to grab on once we started cleaning everything up and we started disinfecting stuff and everything else kids started coming up with polio uh, yes uh, Jack hey there Alex uh, saw a documentary about uh, the Spanish flu this week, mm -hmm. and calling it Spanish flu is really a misnomer. Oh, it should be called the American flu because it started in an army base. It started actually in Kansas at a military base. Yeah. But I've got the answer to getting the uh, COVID-19 uh, vaccinations uh, into people who don't want them. Short of holding it's, them down? Uh, no, uh, no. You know, most folks say they don't. I don't want them because I don't know what's in the vaccine. Well, just slip it into their bologna or their hot dogs because they really don't want to know what's in those things. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, uh, uh, they were saying that some guy uh, was uh, he was in the hospital. He came out with COVID. They started pumping all the things that they had that they could into him to make him better. And finally, when he was coming out of it, he was being interviewed on TV, and he said, well, I still don't want it because I don't want anything uh, that hasn't been fully tested and fully approved, okay? And yet all those drugs they were pumping into him came under that category as well, and they saved his life. So, 250 and, million people around the world that have got vaccinated, and very few are dying. I don't know what more you need. Well... As, I understand what you said. Pa as Patrick and, and says, it's a, it's a personal choice. Right. But it's a personal choice up to a point that you don't want to give it to me. I don't want it. You know. Most most people, you know, we only hear the bad things of COVID. Most people don't get, don't go to the hospital. Well, also, see, I'm I'm a little bit more afraid of it only because a a I'm 81 years of age, okay, and b I had cancer last year. Yep. So yep. those are two uh, mitigating circumstances, and so I feel that I have to be especially careful. I'm 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 not 81, but I'm 62 with asthma. And I'm overweight, and yeah. so those are those put me at higher risk. So I'm I'm the same right. way. Right. This guy, my high 95 year old mother-in-law, got COVID last year. She was sick for a week and a half. The woman was back up in a week and a half, and back doing what she normally does, going to a casino Ooh. in 10 days after that. So, you Are know, you she, sure she had COVID? Yes, yes, she was hospitalized for a week and a half. Oh, okay, they tested her and everything. They tested sure her and said, this is what you got. Because today, I mean, you know, they, 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 they worry that things are COVID when they're not too, you know. Uh, I had a hangnail the other day and I thought that might've been the outbreak for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll they catch you for the intersection at the top of the hour. Okay, bye. If you're lucky, yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, anyway, so I mean, it's you know, uh, uh, I think I think this is going to go on for quite a while, and I don't think it's going to go away overnight like the Spanish flu did. I think you're right. And I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to deal with it each in our own way. If you don't well, want to get have to get like a vaccine. Every well, year. if you don't want to get vaccinated, then you're going you should wear a mask to protect other people in case maybe you catch it. You know, Absolutely. That's all. Yeah, right. You know, I mean, yep. uh, one way or another, you should be a responsible citizen uh, yep. and do something to protect everybody around you. Yeah. You know? But uh, I just, I today, I, I got a little panicky when I heard that this lawyer who was fully vaccinated mm -hmm. came down with COVID, you know, and how much yeah. of that is happening. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, Alex. I yeah. don't mean to be like dramatic, but I'm not going to lie because I'm a baby. When I tested positive, I said, I was worried. I, I said, holy shit. I said, when you 
because I asked the doctors, what is this, just stay home, and if you're breathing is bad, you go to the hospital. I said to myself, I was actually playing in my mind in the house, going up and down, says like, doing breathing exercises. I was, you know, I was a little tired. I said, holy shit, you think you're gonna die? Is this, this is the way I'm gonna go? Like with His COVID. mother, your mother probably died of COVID, right? Yeah, she, yeah, she did, yeah, she had, she died of COVID. Okay, yeah. and it was because your sister, who yeah. teaches, Went she over went in two days, Alex. Uh, we traced. Went it over. Went over to see her and to, to help her and to take care wash of her, it. watch, w wash her, or do whatever you were doing That's, to your mother. Yep. And a very noble reason, but she gave your mother COVID. Yeah. She felt terrible about it. So this made it. And then action. your mother ultimately died of it. Yeah. So you know, I mean, that that, that 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 that's what we're talking about. Especially if you're a teacher, I think you really need to get it. Uh, yeah, I, you know I agree with you, I Alex. I, I think that if you yeah, don't want to, I think if you don't want to get the shot, you should wear a mask. Which is yeah, what but Alex if you if said. you're in something like you're a teacher, uh, I I think you really need to, you know. Uh, yeah, I agree. And uh, Phil, uh, you know, big right winger that he is, said and the other night to me that you know he had a uh, a person who works for him who goes around selling. Uh, carpets to people and goes into their homes who didn't want to get a vaccine. He was against the vaccine and, and he said, I would like you to get the vaccine because you're dealing with my customers and I don't want them to get it. Right. And the, and guy, the, guy, went out, the guy went out and got the vaccine. Phil, Phil got a vaccine early on just yeah. like I did in uh, February. So, you know, he did it for the sake of his customers, not having Absolutely. somebody well, running around who wasn't protected and so on. Yeah. and talking to customers but you know it, it, this is it, it, as I say it's going to go on for a while maybe longer than any of us suspect no. we you know in a way we did have this before in that uh, what was COVID before it was COVID it was SARS wasn't it yeah I think it was something I remember yeah, yeah. wasn't that with the birds like, or something yeah. SARS and, and MERS but they they were short lived they were different too yeah they weren't weren't the same but they, like they, they were certain variations of this that's yeah. right they were that's all right. they all came under the covid category you, you know what the uh, andro viruses you know what the me and the sa and those things stand for no the me stands for middle east because it came from the middle east and the uh sa stands for saudi arabia i think i thought it stood for uh, south la asa what's up <laughs> no SA, SA was, no, SA was South Asia and the ME was Middle East. Oh, well, you're right. That's wow. correct, John. Wow, wow, wow. Well, you're right. Well, you know, I mean. Uh, I wish Patrick could come on the show more often. He's a smart guy to listen to. Well, I like his attitude. <laughs> I like him too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, excuse me. Um, but, um, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> I, I get to talk to him every week, so I'm very lucky. Lucky you. Uh, yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Smart, yeah. too. Yeah. we got a lot of smart people who call <laughs> the show. Uh, but anyway, um, anything anybody want to add tonight? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I think Trump's getting closer to being prosecuted. I think this uh, this notes from the Justice Department guy, they, the, the Justice Department wouldn't release that if, if they weren't serious about saying, look, this, this is uh, illegal. He can be prosecuted for this. I'll believe it when I see it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, right. You know. They're I'll still taking it. the low hanging fruit first. Yeah. 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 But uh, but them. I I seriously think they're yeah. going to prosecute him for this. Well, I better start playing the theme song here. Because, yeah. uh, it's the end of the program as we know it. Uh, hey, listen. Thank you so much, Jeff. I appreciate your participation tonight. Josh, good to see you on a Friday night. Good to see you. Kevin on a Friday night. Good to see you, uh, Patrick, on a Friday night. Uh, maybe I'll see you tomorrow, but don't tell these guys. Uh, also, uh, thanks to Tony. Thanks to Mr. Larkin. And also thanks to Alan for joining us tonight. If uh, you guys would like to give a big wave goodbye, I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Have a good week. There they go, folks. Week. There they go. That's our citizen panel. And hopefully they will have a good weekend. And uh, we hope that you're going to have a good weekend, too. Uh, we're back again on Monday. We do a little thing uh, uh, for the um, 
uh, with with uh, what we call our pop up show at four o'clock on Friday on Monday. It's on Facebook is where it's broadcast. But anyway, that you know that that's Monday, and then uh, we're back again on uh, Tuesday uh, at uh, ten thirty, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, you know, as I always like to say, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, wear a mask, okay? Or get vaccinated. Or do something. Look after your fellow man. Good night, everybody. Bye.